Hey, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. We had a lot of fun yesterday with the video that we posted last night, opening up an Evolving Skies booster box. This set is so, so cool. Lots of amazing artwork, and we had some absolute fire pulls. So if you haven't watched that video yet, definitely make sure to go back and check that one out because it was pretty insane. Has me very, very excited for this set. Today, we're going to let the fun continue, and we're going to be opening up an entire case of build and battle boxes if you don't know what build and battle boxes are these are something that you can get from your lgs or your local hobby shop as long as they have them in stock they're supposed to retail for about twenty dollars for the kit themselves a lot of places actually add in an extra three packs so sometimes that twenty to thirty dollar price tag is more accurate depending on how many packs your local game store provides unfortunately right now these seem to be a little bit harder to come by uh, they're selling for about 35 to 40 dollars online uh, just for the kit inside and that's not including the extra packs so definitely check with your local game store uh, otherwise wait a couple weeks you should be able to find them in places like gamestop or in other online retailers once they start getting their shipments in the one thing i don't know about this product unfortunately is how many waves are going to come out for the build and battle boxes because in the past for like chilling rain and battle styles they had multiple waves of the build and battle boxes unfortunately they don't have multiple waves listed for evolving skies build and battle boxes now some of that might be because they also have the build and battle stadiums that they're introducing which is basically like two of these plus extra packs uh, otherwise the other reason might be because they're starting to cater more towards those lgs's towards those brick and mortars and start trying to kind of um, give them more opportunity to get more of this product down the road uh, we'll wait and see and kind of just get a feel for how things uh, settle I guess as as time goes by but as of right now there's only going to be one wave it seems like we're getting quite a bit more build and battle boxes for evolving skies than what we got for chilling rain which is great uh, but they're all coming at once instead of multiple waves like we just got our second wave of chilling rain build and battle boxes in we haven't even gotten our first wave of these yet we should be getting them within a couple weeks uh, hobby stores are allowed to sell these a couple weeks in advance because they can hold pre-releases you get this and then you get uh, like I said a few packs you build decks and you a 40 card deck and put up four prizes and basically have a tournament it's a lot of fun uh, you're only using cards basically from this set along with a little pre-constructed deck that's inside these boxes uh, and then you kind of battle against other people just to get a feel for what the set's going to be like uh, it is really really cool and I can't wait for competitive play to really start back up again we are starting to see more pre-release events happen uh, but they uh, they're, they're not in full swing like what what you would normally expect because of everything that's going on so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and we are going to hope for the best uh, each of these kits contain four packs as well as uh, a promo card. A promo card in the pack. So in these, there is, I believe, three legendary birds. So the Galarian Moltres, Galarian Zapdos, and Galarian Articuno. And then there's also a Flaffy, which is actually a pretty competitive card. And we'll go over that once we pull one of those. Uh, but then there's also four packs. And your chance of pulling, I guess, more than just... You know one secret rare per box that you would normally pull with like a booster box is a little bit better because there's more of a wide variety it's not kind of you know these standard pulls that you would get from like a, a booster box so uh you're opening up about 40 packs total actually i have a knife because these are kind of hard to open and i don't want to be futzing with it while you guys are watching me struggle opening these up uh, but basically there's a little card sleeve or a sleeve for the case uh, comes in this little cool deck box which a lot of people just end up tossing these but they're good to ship singles in uh, and they're good just to store random cards so um this is our, our first promo here galarian moltres which is pretty cool uh, i'm not going to go over all the attacks because you can kind of read over those on your own but here are the four packs that we get behind this galarian moltres there is um just a bunch of you know trainer cards and a bunch of different things to build your pre-release deck uh which is really cool and then you get these four packs plus typically if you're attending a pre-release event you're going to be getting some additional packs when it comes to pull rates on build and battle boxes, they're kind of all over the place. So we'll see what we get. I know we've got something right away. We're going to start off with a bang. Uh, we've got Flabebe, Roggenrola, Psyduck, Swablu, Seedot, Lotad, and a Garbodor VMAX Rainbow Rare. Woo! Right out of the gate. Fire Energy, Ice Q, Full Face Guard, Hypno, and there is our first code card. So we are starting out with some super great luck right away. I don't think it's going to last all the way through but starting off with a rainbow rare is definitely a good sign like i said the good thing about building battle boxes is you're not kind of limited to one alternate art or one secret rare or anything like that it's just a wide variety uh, you can typically expect anywhere between eight to ten hits uh, usually it's going to be about eight or nine hits in an evolving skies uh, build and battle 
box case because you're opening 40 packs. A booster box is typically going to provide you with seven to eight hits, so you're only opening up four additional packs. You have to kind of determine whether or not that additional, you know, price tag of about forty dollars is worth it. I love the art of that sleigh call. Victini and a Lilligant rare digging gloves, Palpitoad, Crustle. I love that Crustle. Super cool looking. I'm not going to try, but I'm going to try and not spend as much time highlighting over the commons and uncommons because we did go through them all uh, last night. We didn't spend a whole lot of time on them either, but there are a lot of videos that go through stuff, so I just don't want to waste your guys' time as much as I can. Drowsy. Lillipup is our reverse, and we've got a Rayquaza V! Alright, super competitive card. That is my first Rayquaza V that I have pulled. Very exciting for that. The Rayquaza V and the Rayquaza VMAX um, are very, very competitive. We're going to read over it here just so you can get a better understanding of what it does. It's got 210 HP for uh, one lightning energy. It does Dragon Pulse, uh, which is uh, 40. And discard the top two cards from your deck, and then it does Spiral Burst. Uh, for a fire and a lightning, you may discard up to two basic fire energy cards uh, or up to two basic lightning energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 80 more damage for each card you discarded in this way. So super cool. Uh, the Rayquaza alternate art, Rayquaza V and Rayquaza V Max are really, really cool. I have pulled the Rayquaza V, uh, Rayquaza V alternate art, but I have not pulled the Rayquaza V Max yet. So hopefully that's in this box. There's just so many cards in the set that I want to pull. So uh, this box is, ooh, a Zygarde Hollow, nice. This box, I'm just like, okay, so we need to find uh, a Noivern alternate art. We need to find an Umbreon V alternate art. We need to find the Sylveon V Max alternate art. There's just so many alternate arts that I want to pull out of this uh, build and battle box, and that's obviously not going to happen. So hopefully, we started off the first build and battle box actually pretty strong with two hits. So hopefully our luck continues. If we can get uh, a hit per box. That's really what you're hoping for, but rarely does that ever happen. Galarian Articuno is our next promo. And we're going to start off with the Rayquaza artwork and hopefully keep the momentum going. We've got a Flabebe right out of the gates. Squablu, Litleo, Chinchow, Dino, Reverse Hollow, Tropius, and a Smurgle, which I do like. Smurgle is super competitive, very cool. Um, hopefully it'll be a fun rogue deck, but just a rare, not an ultra rare, but that's okay. Uh, we've got two hits so far. Hopefully we can pull something out of one of these packs here. We've got a Flabebe again, Roggenrola, Psyduck, Swablu, Seedot, Reverse Hollow, Ryan, and an Altaria, Fire Energy, Moon and Sun Badge, Toy Catcher, Hip Outen, and there is our code card. It's always very frustrating if you go to a pre-release. Unfortunately, some of these build and battle boxes, when you're only opening up four packs, there's obviously no guarantee of a hit. It's very well possible that you might not even get a holographic card. Uh, so it's very disappointing when you see somebody open up, you know, two or three ultra rares in their build and battle kit, and you open up a build and battle kit that has absolutely nothing in it. I remember going to Roaring Skies as my first ever pre-release that I attended, and coincidentally, now that we pulled the Rayquaza V, I pulled a Rayquaza GX, the colorless version, um, in Roaring Skies, and I was super excited for it. It was just a regular GX, so it wasn't uh, full art or anything like that, but I was excited just to get a hit. Galarian Moltres, nice. Galarian Moltres Hollow, but it was in a Galarian Articuno pack. Crustle seems to be like the last card of the majority of the packs that I've opened, which is uh, pretty crazy. So we're going to keep going. We're in number three now. That was a dud of a box. We only got one hollow rare, no hits in that build and battle box. Hopefully build and battle box, oops, bump in the camera. Hopefully build and battle box number three has some better luck. And here is a Galarian Moltres right away for our promo card. So we've gotten two of those and one of the Articuno. Still no um, Zapdos and still no Flaffy yet. I am excited for the Flaffy. I do like the Flaffy a lot as far as competitive play goes. Mareep, Wobbuffet, Love Disc, Dwebble, Hippopotas, Time Pole Reverse Hollow, and a Drampa Rare. So we're in a little bit of a cold streak now after that first build and battle box. There's another Crustle. Look at that. Crustle is just very, very, very fond of that last card before the energy. All right. There's that cool looking Eevee looking over the Rayquaza. Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipop, Reverse Hollow, Hitmonchan, and a Hollow Entei. Nice. I love Entei. Entei is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon uh, in my top 10 for sure. Sometimes it creeps up a little bit higher depending on the artwork. The Entei EX, the full art from Dark Explorers, is just 
Oh, one of my favorite artworks. I love Dark Explorers. The artworks in Dark Explorers are just fantastic, especially for the full arts, the Raikou, the Dark Rai. I just love them so much. Even the Kyogre is so great. Appleton. Ah! We got a rainbow Umbreon VMAX. Holy cow. I was not expecting that at all. I didn't see any shimmer or anything. Look at that. Skip Loom, Fletchender, Shopping Center, and there is the code card. So far, it looks like, just kind of before I picked that up, looking over the common and uncommon quality, there still seems to be uh, a little bit of whitening on the edges. So hopefully it's different. The centering seems a little off on some of them too. And it could just be the build and battle boxes. Hopefully the booster boxes will be better. I didn't look overly closely at the booster box that we opened up last night. Um, let's look, and look at this Umbreon VMAX. The centering still looks a little bit off uh, from top to bottom and left to right. Uh, but the edging looks good. Maybe just a little bit of a nick over here. It's definitely not a perfect 10, unfortunately. But really, honestly, lately, the card quality has not been there for pretty much every set that's come out uh, since Vivid Voltage. So since Darkness Ablaze, really. Uh, Darkness Ablaze, I do remember getting a bunch of Charizard VMAXs graded and getting those coming back in PSA 10s. But after that, it was uh, a lot of stuff I didn't even bother sending in. It just didn't, didn't pass the eye test at all, which is unfortunate. So... All right, we are three build and battle boxes in, and we have pulled one ultra rare per build and battle box. We pulled two in the first one, none in the second one, and one in the third one. And the one that we pulled in the third one is definitely our best hit so far. The Rainbow Rare Umbreon V Match. We got two Rainbow Rares. Here's the Flaffy that I was talking about. So it's got Dynamotor, which brings you back to like Ray Eels if you played Ray Eels at all. Uh, once during your turn, you may attach a Lightning Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And then it does Electro Ball for 50 damage, two Lightning Energy, and one Colorless Energy. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, definitely playable with Dynamotor. But we'll see. We'll see how the format shakes out. Obviously, being a one prize attacker is a big deal, especially in a format where there's three prize attackers. So. Hitmonchan, Slaykoff, Petalil, Pikachu, that cool looking Pumpkaboo, Lillipup, and another Drampa Rare. Is there a Crustle at the end? Nope, Avalug. That Avalug is just a Crustle in disguise. All right, moving on to pack number two. I want to see also if you guys have seen this pack was already like opened. This quality, I tell you guys, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I wanted to know if you guys have seen the news. I just love how that Slaykoff looks. Of the new... Oh, we got a crimped card. Look at that right at the top there. The Gossifleur has been bitten by the crimp bug. That's probably why the pack was still open a little bit. Love Disc, Fletchling, Cutie Fly, and a Gigalith is our rare card. Anyways, let me finish my thought now. Uh, if you guys have seen the new gold, um, gold card boxes that we're getting, which is super, super exciting. The Pikachu and Zekrom, and I believe earlier today was announced the Charizard one. So super exciting for these gold cards to finally be making their way. Hopefully, I think it was GameStop. I know it's eBay, EB Games, and usually that uh, gets shared with GameStop. So very exciting for that this fall. We'll see how many of those gold cards make their way over to the U.S. Very excited about those. They seem very late, considering the fact that they're not going to be in the format anymore. But still, definitely a very cool piece. Um, we'll see how limited they are, though. All right, last pack. Applin, Sableye, Nicket, Bergmite, Carvana, Flaffy, come on! All right, we got a hit. Lycanroc V. Ooh, we're keeping the streak alive. We have four hits in four boxes, and we finally pulled... I think this is the first Lycanroc that we pulled. We haven't pulled one of these yet, which is super cool. I know that's the first Rayquaza V that I pulled, uh, and I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that I haven't pulled yet as far as regular arts go. I think there might be one or two more yet. I uh, haven't opened up a lot of this set. Uh, we'll open up more of it hopefully next weekend when the release day hits. Uh, we've got quite a few boxes coming that a lot of you have taken advantage of and either purchased or sent in bulk. 3,500 bulk was able to get you a booster box of Evolving Skies. We do still have that deal going on. You can check out the details on our website or in the um, description down below. So super cool about that. Got another Flaffy promo. Here we go. Box number five. We are closing in on the halfway mark. We've got a Hippopotas, Zerua, Psyduck, Rufflet, Drowsy, Lombre, and a Hollow Salamence. That's a really cool artwork also with him just standing over there on the cliffs. Very nice. They just, there's so many cards in the set. It is very overwhelming uh, to really appreciate the artwork on every single card. But when you start going through the set and you start opening it up, Definitely take your time to go through it. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I like opening up product off camera 
because I don't feel as rushed. I can kind of really start looking at the artwork, really start looking at the attacks, and really just start reading through things. Uh, but the artwork on some of these cards is just absolutely fascinating with all the stories that they tell in the background. Uh, just really, really cool. So take the time to definitely appreciate that because there's a lot of cool stuff in this. Uh, Talonflame is the rare. I like the artwork on that one too. Boldor, Aroma Lady, and there is our code card. So we have two packs left. I always really like to get the ultra rare out of the way early. Uh, unfortunately, that's just not going to be the case here because we're either... Oh, I think we're going to get one in this, this pack. Okay. Dino, Mareep, Wobbuffet, Love Disc, Dwebble, Reverse Hollow Swoobad, and yes, we pulled one. Oh my goodness, I have not seen this card uh, pulled at all. I haven't watched a ton of Evolving Skies openings yet, but Metacham V is one of the alternate arts that I have just not seen a lot of, and it looks gorgeous with all of those Pokemon kind of hanging out in the background. Oh, I love it. Holy cow, look at that. That is just beautiful. Wow, that's exciting. Grass Energy, Stormy Mountains, Boldor, Skiploom. And I'm sure a lot of the reason why, you know, if I'm, I'm looking on Instagram or if I'm looking on Twitter or wherever I'm looking, a lot of people are showing off their alternate art um, Umbreons and their alternate art Rayquaza. Rayquaza VMAX is still a little off-center. Uh, not much on the Whitening, though, which is really good. Ah, uh, just a beautiful card. So they're not paying as much attention to Metacham, so you just don't see Metacham as much. Um, which reminds me, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can, at danny.phantom. Um, I'm not as active on there as I used to be, but it's definitely a better way to get a hold of me if you need to send me a message for any reason. Pikachu, Applin, Lillipup, Emolga, Aroma Lady, and a Hollow Zygarde. I feel like we already pulled one of those. Flaffy, Bravery, Switching Cups, and there's our code card. So we are halfway through. If we can pull two alternate arts again, I would be absolutely ecstatic. We already pulled two... Um, secret rares, two rainbow rares, but if we can pull a second alternate art out of these build and battle kits, I will lose my mind. We have had just amazing, amazing luck over the last 24 hours. Maybe Evolving Skies is just my set, or maybe it's everybody's set. Maybe the pull rates are just getting better. Uh, we are opening up another Flaffy promo here, so if we can get a play set, that would be really sick. Um, very, very cool. We've got four left after this one, so we are officially halfway done with this opening and hopefully we pull some fire right away which it looks like we will Woobat, Gossifleur, Phoebus, Hippopotas we're gonna skip over this lily pup here apparently Swoobat and oh yes holy cow oh my goodness guys we pulled an alternate art again Sylveon V this thing is gorgeous oh my goodness in the sweet shop look at that oh what a dream to get that card. Holy cow. Ribbon badge. Zwilius. There's our code card. We are having just amazing, amazing luck. Wow. A second alternate art in this build and battle case. Holy cow. I have seen cases being opened of this where they've pulled no alternate arts at all. And here we are opening up our second one. This one, the centering doesn't actually look too bad, but there is a little bit of a white mark up here, unfortunately. This is just one beautiful card. Um, I actually had to look at the set list the other day just to be like, is there a Sylveon V alternate? I couldn't remember or not. Uh, and there is. And there it is in person. Finally, holy cow. That is a way to get a build and battle kit started. Wow. Just absolutely phenomenal. Whew. I am very, very excited. This is so much fun. I love opening uh, new sets like this, especially uh, I know I rag on on the how big the set is a little bit. All right, another Rayquaza V. Holy cow, we're on fire with this box. Uh, Zwilius, Skiploom, Raihan, and there is the code card. But I know I rag on uh, the set a little bit because it's so big. It is just so massive. So trying to complete a master set is so difficult. But the artwork in some of these sets, Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies, just these alternate arts are just so beautiful. I love how they do the artwork, really giving the artists a chance to, you know, showcase themselves. So, so cool. Rufflet, Lotad, Emolga, Reverse Hollow Moon and Sun Badge, and a Hollow Ludicolo. Love me some Ludicolo. Such a cool Pokemon. Boost Shake, Rabambi, and there is a code card right there for you. All right, last pack from this amazing box where we pulled an alternate art, Sylveon V, and a Rayquaza V. Very exciting. All right. We've got a Hippopotas, Time Pole, Litleo, Eevee, Cutie Fly, 
Hitmonchan, and a Shiftry. Kind of reminds me of the giant fan Shiftry, which was a really big deal and ended up um, causing a lot of people to speculate about it getting banned because it was just too powerful or thought it was going to be too powerful before it did end up getting uh, banned, if you um, know what I'm talking about in competitive play. All right, moving on. We've got four building battle boxes left. Uh, we're actually doing really, really well. I think we're one ahead of schedule, so we might have a box. Even if we have a box without a hit, it'll be okay because we'll still be on schedule to hit one per booster box or one per um, build and battle kit. Uh, we can't go two without, though. So I've seen uh, a few cases open where there's been like three build and battle kits where they haven't had anything, any hits. That's why I was like getting... Uh, opening up that first booster pack and seeing a hit right away because then I just feel safe for the rest of the box. Anything you, else you get is just kind of gravy. Uh, Wishy Washy is our rare card. Darkness Energy, Boldor, Skip Loom, Fletchender, and here is our code card right there. All right, we got three packs left and then three more building battle boxes left. We're hoping for, we're going for 10. We're just going to shoot for 10. I know it's a little greedy to get 10 hits. Um, but that's what we're going for. Gossifleur, Love Disc, Fletchling, Chinchow, Reverse Hollow Litleo, and a Hollow Zorark, which looks really cool. I love the kind of the murky background of the forest. Very nice looking. I mean, I have opened so many packs of Pokemon cards in my life, and it's just, it's still so much fun. It is still so much fun. I'm sure you guys all agree with me on that. It is just a blast to kind of look over everything. Even this Pikachu right away with him, uh, just the setting in the background, the aesthetics. It's just so cool looking. C-Dot, Lillipup, Bagon, Litleo, Skip Loom, Reverse Hollow, and a Talonflame with cool, cool artwork. Pyroar, Dream Ball, Stormy Mountains, and Code Card. All right, we are going to need to pull something out of this pack here, or otherwise we are getting skunked in this build and battle box. We are hoping for the best here. All right, can we get some last pack magic from this build and battle box? Nicket, Bergmite, Carvana, Emolga, Reverse Hollow Digging Gloves, and Gyarados V. Nice! Whew, we pulled one. Switching Cups, Tentacruel, Boldor, and here's the code card. We're going to take a look at that Gyarados V. Um, I love this set. So let me, I'm, I'm starting, I'm going to preface this. I love this set. Um, but I thought it would be really cool if they had a Gyarados V. You can tell this is a little bit off center from the top to bottom. It's a little bit thicker on the, bo or on the top than it is on the bottom. Uh, I love everything about this set. However, if there was one thing I wish they would have added, it would have been um, an alternate art Gyarados V. I think that Gyarados is just such a fan favorite that it deserved an alternate art if they were going to go you know, crazy on alternate arts. Um, don't get me wrong. I don't know what alternate art you would take out to include Gyarados V. And we might get an alternate art Gyarados V in the future uh, you know, in a promo box or in some other fashion. All right, we've got our final promo that we haven't pulled yet, which is Galarian Zapdos. So there is the Galarian Zapdos. Very cool. Um, but yeah, I, I would have just liked to see a Gyarados V, alternate art. It's got a cool full art. Um, the V obviously looks really cool. It just didn't get a chance at an alternate art for some reason. Uh, Dwebble, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus, Woobat, and a Thievul. I do like the Thievul artwork, but I have seen a lot of Thievuls. Skip Loom, and there is our code card. All right, three packs left in this build and battle, and then we got two boxes left. So if we can get uh, another ultra rare in this build and battle box, we'll be sitting really pretty of our goal of 10, which would make this just another fantastic opening. No matter what, it's going to be really, really good because of the two alternate arts that we already pulled uh, and the two rainbow rares as well, which is super, super cool. Full face guard and a code card. All right, it's gonna, if it's going to happen, if we're going to get an Ultra Rare, it's got to be in the back, too. So let's see here. We've got Love Disc, C-Dot, Slaykoth, Flabebe, Carvana, Reverse Hall, Boldor, and Altaria. Oh, no. We're going to go down to Last Pack Magic again. Gordy, Bravery, and a Code Card. All right. Whew, we got to shake off the dust. We've run into a little bit of a cold stretch. One Ultra Rare in the last seven packs. Can we make it two in the last eight? We need something here. All right, we've got a Phoebus, Hitmonchan, Slaykoth, Petalil, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow is a Lucky Ice Pop, and a Galarian Articuno Hollow. Still a cool card. Very, very cool. I love the artwork. Um, but no Ultra Rare in this Build and Battle Box. So that means two of the Build and Battle Boxes, unfortunately, did not have Ultra Rares in it. So... 
but we did get a couple of them that had multiple ultras in it. So I guess it's all evening out so far. It's all going to come down to these last two build and battle boxes. We have not had uh, luck on the Galarian Zapdos, and it looks like we're going to be opening up another Galarian Zapdos promo right here. I think Flaffy was the one that we had the most luck on because we pulled both of our alternate arts in the Flaffy promos. I don't, it doesn't make a difference, obviously, but sometimes it's just fun to speculate. I don't know. All right, we've got Emolga, Slaykoth, Gossifleur, Uncrimped, Love Disc, Fletchling, Palpitoad, and another Altaria. Still no Ultra Rare, so we are on a very, very cold streak. Lantern, and there is our code card. So we need to pull something really, really good here as I try and move some of these things over so everything doesn't come crashing down. All right, we've got to get back on pace here. We need two more Ultra Rares to hit 10. I think we've got eight. Uh, Slaykoth, Gossifleur again, Love Disc, Fletchling, Chinchow, Full Face Guard. This is really weird. I'm going to pull that. Wow. Oh, all right, we got a Gyarados VMAX. All right. Oh, Grass Energy, Lucky Ice Pop, Tentacruel, Palpitoad, and there's our code card. I do want to look at this Full Face Guard. The printing is just weird on it. It just looks off on it. So there is our Gyarados VMAX. Super cool artwork. Um, just Gyarados is just such a fun Pokemon. The centering actually looks really, really good on this one compared to the other cards that we have pulled. Here's this full face card. It just looks, if you look at the printing up here, there's like a, a lot, like a bubble that goes around it for some reason. Um, and you can tell it's all smeared over here, which is a little bit weird. It almost looks like it was double printed or double pressed or something. It's very, very weird looking. All right, we're going to put that one to the side and we'll look at it later. We are moving on. Oh, we still have two more packs left in this building battle box. So we got our hit for this build and battle box. Anything else that we get would be gravy. It would be great if we could get one more uh, because then we can rest easy knowing we're going to have at least 10 hits. C Dot, Lillipup, Bagon, Reverse Hollow Chinchow, and a Sharpedo. We have not pulled any gold cards yet. Avalug and our code card. So it would be nice to pull maybe that gold Cresselia or one of the three gold energies. There is just so much in this set, so many secret rares. It is absolutely inc insane. There's like 260 cards or something. Nicket, Bergmite, Carvana, Emolga, Reverse Hollow, Vigoroth, and a Drampa Rare. All right, so we are moving on to our last build and battle box. We need to get at least one hit to reach our goal of having an average of one hit per build and battle, even though we had a couple boxes that didn't have any hits. Um, if we have three boxes that don't have hits, we're obviously not going to hit the goal. So 10 is a lot to ask for in 40 packs. We've got another Galarian Zapdos promo. So these really didn't seem to be split up too much in the pack. It just seemed like Galarian Articuno, Galarian Moltres, um, Flaffy, and then Zapdos. So it seemed to kind of be in order. I wonder if they're kind of regulating how these are divvied up now. Uh, Drowsy, Flabebe, Roggenrola, Psyduck, Swablu, Reverse Hollow, Vigoroth, and a Shiftry. Oh boy, we got three packs left to get Ultra Rare number 10. Hopefully we can make it happen. Whew. It's all coming down to this. No matter what, it's still going to be a fantastic, fantastic case because we did pull those two alternate arts. We did pull two Rainbow Rares. But we just want one more. Just one more card. Just one more. Bergmite, Flabebe, Swablu, Stoutland and a cool hollow Entei. Nice. All right. We'll take a hollow. Ice Q, Skip Bloom, Elemental Badge, and there is the code card. We've got two packs left. All right, guys. Here we go. We've got Pikachu, Applin, Lillipup, Emolga, Tentacool, Single. This is the same way. See, look at how oh, it's all. It's weird. Like it's like a cloud around it, and it almost looks like it's double printed up here. Uh, Scroll the Fang Dragon, Wishy Washy, is our rare. All right, that was <laughs> anticlimactic because we we're too busy looking at the Reverse Hollow, uh, and there's our code card. All right, it's going to come down to the last pack, the last pack to tell us if we hit ten. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Hope for the best. We've got Bergmite, Rag and Rolla, Flabebe, Swablu, Litleo. Hippopotus. Oh no, Lilligant rare. So this was just a bust of a building battle. We had 
three build and battle boxes that did not have any so nine is probably pretty close to average as far as the amount of hits that you're going to get we did get really lucky because we pulled two alternate arts so we've got the gyarados v max gyarados v rayquaza v sylveon v the alternate art super super cool looking love how that looks metacham v alternate art also very beautiful lycanroc v the stunning umbreon v max rainbow rare rayquaza v again and then the garbador v max was our first pack magic super super cool hope you guys liked watching hopefully you guys you guys are still really excited about the set i'm still super excited i can't wait to open up more i really appreciate you guys taking the time to come hang out watch the video make sure to leave a like uh leave a thumbs up and a comment it goes a long long way for the algorithm and helps kind of share the channel so i really really do appreciate that make sure to hit the subscribe that subscribe button down below if you haven't already hit it um hopefully we'll have our giveaway announcement at the end of this week as long as i get around to recording it um we're going to be giving away 50 evolving skies elite trainer boxes and all the details are going to be coming very soon but you have to be subscribed to win so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already guys thank you so much for everything i really appreciate you until next time peace